This is my power book. It makes a lot of noise. And it's all coming from the fan right over here. See if you can hear that. Anyway, that fan noise is driving me crazy. And of course, it's the problem with a lot of these power books. So let's take it apart and see if we can fix it. This is Gary with MacMost.com. And we're going to see my crazy video of me trying to fix my MacBook Pro by myself. The reasons I need to do this are because it's driving me crazy and I can't go a day without my laptop. So I might as well go and see if I can fix it myself. And hopefully I won't break it. So I'll either be, uh, be happy at the end of this video or I'm going to be very upset. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it down and I'm going to take it apart. I'm ready to take this apart. Now I want to start off by warning everybody they should definitely not do this at home. I don't recommend this to anybody to do. I think I'm crazy for doing it myself. And um, I'm just recording this kind of for posterity, but you should take this to a pro or use your Apple Care and take it into Apple and have them do it. Uh, so in order to prepare for this, first thing I did was I backed up. I actually backed up twice to two different drives. Next thing I did was I ordered a fan replacement. This is the replacement fan. Now I also had taken this machine apart before to verify that it indeed was this fan that makes all the noise, and it is, and I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, I've gotten that. I've got some tools together. You need some special special heads on a screwdriver here, and I've got a little nice set from Radio Shack. Uh, I've got a somewhat clean work area. I've got a piece of paper here that I pulled the corners up, and I can put the screws in here and label them. And I also have on another machine over here, I've got a take-apart guide in case I should need some help into where to find the screws. I've done this before, so I should be okay. So let me start taking apart the machine. In order to do that, I need to remove screws from various places. You flip it over. And you can see I need to remove four screws from the back here. I also need to remove some screws here. So I'm going to take the battery out there. And I've got three screws here, which will allow access to the memory compartment, which needs to come out. I've also got some screws back in here in the front of the machine. So I want to start taking some of these screws apart and uh, see if I can get this machine open. Both sides, the back, and various other places. You can see how I've labeled them all. Not a great system, because uh, one push on this piece of paper and these all go everywhere. But you can see there's two in the back, four on the left, four on the right, two next to the memory, one that opens, uh, three that open the memory slot, two by the battery in the front of the machine, and there are four on the bottom, four long ones on the bottom. So I've got those all arranged. And now I should be able to actually pry this open like that. And this comes a little easier than most um, because I've already opened this machine up. The first time it was really tough. There we go. And we have to open the machine up this way. And there we are. And there's a connector there that keeps me from removing the keyboard completely. There is the problem fan. And there's the fan that's okay, and you can see the rest of the insides here. What I'm actually going to do here is uh, test this out with the machine open. Here I go, I've got the machine open, and you can very, I can very clearly hear that this fan is making a lot of noise. Now, of course, I do not recommend doing this. I installed the battery while this thing's open. Dangerous on a lot of different levels. But I just wanted to show that this is it. I've actually even lifted this fan partially out and had it on. I wanted to confirm it's on. And I've used, tried to use graphite. I've tried to blow dust out of the thing. I've determined that it actually is the motor itself that's making the noise. There's nothing that's going to fix this thing, which is why I went with the replacement. So I'm going to shut it down now and see what I can do to remove the fan. You see, well, I'm going to have to remove a couple of cables out of the way, detach the cable that's connected to the fan. There's a piece of tape, electrical tape, that holds it in place, and uh, loosen various screws. So it's going to be tough. I'm going to take it slowly and... Uh, I'll show you the result. Here we are now with the fan removed completely. You can see the fan is actually coming in this little part here at the top and this part at the bottom. I probably did not have to separate them as the new fan comes as one unit. Um, you can see in here I actually do have some dust in there. It's accumulated that it didn't get blown out, so I'll blow that out first. I had to move what I think is the light sensor for the, uh, for the machine. But uh, besides that, I didn't have to actually disconnect anything except the fan itself. Let me try to install the new one now and see how that goes. All right, I've got the, uh, the new fan in place. It went in pretty smoothly. The hardest part was getting this connector here. It's now under tape in. It looked like something you would 
push forward. When in fact, it was just something you pressed down. Uh, everything's back in place. I'm going to try to put the keyboard back and see if I can see it working before I close the machine up. This piece of tape here, I basically just slowly took off of the other fan and then re-put it back on this one. It doesn't seem to be fitting as well now, but I think the screws hold it in place just, just fine. Okay, I've got the new fan working. It's the machine's still open, but it is actually spinning and it's quiet as can be. So I'm really happy. So now all I have to do is put the entire thing back together without breaking it, and I'm set. And here we are, all assembled. Here we go, it started up. As quiet as can be. And we know the fan's working because I tested it before I closed the case. And seems to be happy. See